Hello and welcome to today's event. Today we're going to take a look at Dokio as a Chrome extension. So get it and see what it can do. Keeps track of everything where you are. It gives you information. Notice um, you can also add keywords if you're looking for something. Um, and your sources. And your sources are wherever you've been visiting. Uh, in your browser, whether you're using uh Chrome, or actually you can also use this on Safari, but I'm using it on Chrome. Right, so let's take a look at the bottom here where you see about search, recent tags, sources, and then your account with the three dots. So notice um, about this page, it'll tell you about every single page. And, and this is really great. Notice uh, it's looking at a course AI for ELT. Um, I can remove this, open in Dokio to get uh, more information. All right, so let me open it on Dokio so you can see what Dokio looks like. And here we are. This is my Dokio account and everything will also appear here. All the information, where you've been and um, your emails, if you want to add that, your Google Drive, your Google and so on. I'm going to come back here um, and notice uh, you can type, you can go into Moodle for Teachers. This is uh, all the courses that are appeared down here. Notice creating basic H5P, uh, creating AI generated activity. These are all free courses that are available for you to take starting January 7. That's the uh, registration week and until the end of that week. It's for five weeks until February 18. And you can join any of the courses under EVO 2024. So if I click on, for example, let me uh, go to this one, uh, Video Based Mobile Learning. If I click on it, notice I get this information from my Google Drive. And it connects the information you have in your Google Drive with this because that's the source that I've added. The sources that I've added are Google Drive. Notice the items, everything in my Google Drive and Microsoft Teams. Those are my resources. You can add other resources, of course, and uh, tags. This is the recent where I've been. And then, as I said, you can search for items. All right, so we're going to take a look at um, these courses by logging in. Now, these courses are actually locked. You need to log in before you can do anything. So let me show you what I mean by that. Video-based mobile learning. If I click on it, notice what it tells me. And notice the extension follows me. It's always with me. All right. So here you can get a summary. Video-based mobile learning provides information. An online course that teaches participants how to use their smartphones. Basically, everything that's here and actually more. Okay, there's a lot more information here than is here right now. All right, so let me uh, click on it and I'm going to log in. You just log in by clicking on one of these. So let me do that now. So I've logged in. You can see at the top right. Now I'm going to click on enroll. And there I'm in. So let me take my... There we go, and now we get more information because there's more information here, of course. And you can clip the page or get a screenshot of the page. Notice it comes with you and it picks up everything. As I said, you can also open this in Dokio or you can preview, click on the preview and just to get an idea. Notice it's all here. So if you're at a site, for example, you don't want to keep everything in your browser, right? Because there are too many things. And there are certain things that I keep because I need them. For example, spin the wheel. I love spin the wheels and I use it a lot. So I keep it open most of the time. And But it's, um, it's kind of annoying because um, it takes up space, really. And then this one, which is a ping to ICO converter. I mean, I'm sure you don't need this, but I do because I do a lot of conversions from ping to ICO on my Moodle sites. 
And then there's this one, which is another one. Notice you need to refresh to see it. This one's really great because um, it's an image resizer. There's mine here. It can tell you what it is here. Image resizer. Okay, I'll explain what it is. Isn't that great? And um, there are other things here. Notice, um, let me go into the image resize. There we go. All you need to do is simply um, select an image. And sometimes I need to add images to my YouTube thumbnails. So, uh, and they're too big for YouTube. And it wants me to resize it. And I do it here. And it's completely free. Unless, of course, you want to pay. And that's, that's fine. And there's also this one, which I like a lot. And I use it. It's called H5P Lumi. And um, of course, uh, there's LinkedIn. What else can I show you here? Oh, this one. Yeah, this is another of my favorite. It's Twee. And um, there you can learn more about Twee and what I have in my projects. Okay, it's uh, for English language teachers. It's an AI to create. Anyways, you can read all about it here if, if you get an account. And then there's uh, Genially that I really like as well. And, and let me get that out here. And you can learn all about Genially and uh, things that I have here. Again, clip the page, get a screenshot, search recent tags and so on. And then there is a transcriptor that I use all the time. And um, there, if you want to know what transcriptor is... Okay, you can see that it converts audio or video. So it actually tells you about the page, about the site. And then there's uh, Canva that I always like to keep open as well. And you can read all about Canva here. Okay, and um, that's my account. And Midnight Journey, where it's also an AI where you can get images. And there you can get information about this page. Mid Journey AI offers various options for gener. So that's what I mean. It's great to have. It's such a wonderful resource. And then there is DID. If you're not using DID, you might want to. And there's information about that as well. And then there's Google Bard that I like to keep open uh, because I use it on a daily basis. I use it quite a bit. And then there's this one, and they want you to get rid of your, okay, and then here we go, and you can copy all kinds of emojis that I like, and then there's ChatGPT that I keep open, and you can read all about that and what I have right now, and then there's my YouTube channel that I keep open. And uh, that's the last video that I have. And then you can get information about that. YouTube Studio, Badger. And then there we're back to the courses. Okay, and there we'll get rid of that. And here we are. This is video-based mobile learning. And you can go into any of these. Technology for spoken English. And, um, and you get information from there and you can go into the URL. Notice it also tells you when you viewed it, you can add tags. It's a wonderful resource. Try it out and let me know how you're using it and why you love it. And there it is, Dokio. That's my Dokio account. If you want more information about Dokio, let's, uh, let's find it. These are the sources that you can add. You can add your Gmail so that all the information will be available here. And only you see it. It's just for you. And uh, Dropbox, Slack, Box, local files from your computer, Microsoft Drive, and so on. As I said, I added uh, Google Drive and Microsoft Teams. If you go into other, notice you can request what would you like other to be. I would like it to be Moodle, of course. Okay, that's my request. That's a request. 
All right, so um, let me close that up. Before I log out, I just want to show you that uh, Docio Sidebar Chrome plugin that you can get. You can get it for Mac so that it's on your computer as well as for Windows. So this is uh, what you will see. You enter your account and so on. If you need to create an account, just click on new account or if you've lost it. You can find your Docu account. So uh, let's go into a new account and then you create one. You can continue with Google or you can go into a sign up page. I will add the link in uh, the description of this video, but it's www.dokio.com. And here's information about it. Um, find, organize, understand all your online files. As I said, you can add it uh, to your accounts on a Mac or PC. Okay, let's get this. And then these are the different sources. You can manage multiple activities. Now, you can't do this without an AI. You really need an AI. So this is the Docio AI. You can also find it on Product Hunt if you're not familiar with Product Hunt. All kinds of really amazing things there. And I'm using the free, even though there is a paid version, as you can see pricing here. But you can get so much for free. And, and that's what I enjoy. If you want to know more, you can watch this overview video to get an idea of how wonderful Dokio is. Or just try it out and just see what you can do with it and share. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and try Dokio. Thank you.